Hello, horribles. It's Mr. Phillips' art school number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. Yeah, 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 yeah. 21. Here we go. 21, 21, 21. Now, I just finished putting together a lesson for the grade four fives next week, and I enjoyed it so much. I'm going to sort of do a version of it with everybody else. There's a gorilla from yesterday. Right, you will need a grey lead pencil for this one to start with. But we're going to start something a bit different. We're going to look at uh, a symmetrical picture. So what you need to do is to take your piece of paper and fold it in half. Like that. Just like that. And then open it up. And then we're going to be drawing a B. So this works well with anything that is symmetrical, like bees or faces or, or butterflies or any just any random patterns. So fold your piece of paper in half, so you've got a line. This is our line of symmetry down here. And on one side, we're going to do a B. So I'm going to start about there. And that's probably ahead. So we're going to start with that type of line. Hard to see that one, isn't it? Let me just zoom in so you can see. And then that. And then, let me lift up the thing next time. And then the thorax, which is the middle bit. And as you do it, just go over the line so they're quite thick with heavy pencil. If you've got a 2B pencil, which most of you do have, or an even like this one is a 4B, will be on it to their best. Anything with a heavy B on it. HB works, but not as well. And definitely not H pencils. So you need 2B or thing. So that's its abdomen. And we'll put some lines in there as well. So everything's a half. So that could be half a semi-oval, and this is like a semi-oval too, and this is uh, two curved lines like that. And then we'll do a one leg up like this. So they've segmented legs, so it's like a skinny end. You can see that. And then a tip like that. And then we're going to do an antenna like that. So that's like a squished S. Going that way. And then we're going to do some wings. Probably would have been better with a wider piece of paper, but it doesn't matter. We'll go like that. I don't know what shape we call that. It's another squished S. And then we're going to pull it in just before the end. And we're going to go down like this. And then we're going to curve it up and go back into there. And then another second wing folded in underneath. That. Once again, really thickly go over those lines. Nice and thick. Like this, like that. And some other legs. Some legs coming out here. Because all the legs have to come out of thorax. So lots of rectangles, ovals, and dippy things. Again, thin rectangles. an oval and a little clawy bit. I think that should do us. I'm going to put another line there on the thorax. And I may make this eye a bit bigger. Like that. Okay, good. Now, oh, we need to put some veins in the wings. So it's just like a tree with some branches just to show that the, the wings are thin. Got it? Cool. Now, fold it back. Take the other end of your pencil, the blunt end, and you can sort of see the picture on the other side. Just go over those lines with the rub. We want to rub really hard so that <clears throat> the graphite, the lead from the pencil, the compressed carbon, is being pushed onto the other page. Yeah. So make sure you go over all of it. 
the heavier went on the other side, the easier it is to see on this side. And then we open it up, and there you go. We've got a faint impression of what was on the other side. Now what we do is we just go over those lines again. Sorry, I just knocked the camera. And then we go over those lines again. They're really easy to see. Look at that. There's our leg. Done. Oh, got those. Uh, to be exactly the same as what it is on the other side. But there we are. We have a symmetrical B. You can colour it in. You can use colour. I'm just going to use a pencil again. You can put some texture in it. The thorax area of the B is hairy. Let's put some hair on it. Put some hair on their legs. Slightly hairy legs that captures pollen. Colour in their eyes, maybe stipple their eyes. Stippling, there's that shaded dotting thing, colour it in. And there you go, we finished. A, B. There you go. Alright everyone, that's a B. Be good. I'll see you later. Bye.